guys so i'm at the store <clears throat> just finished my lunch and i'm running into the grocery store because uh i need to get something for dinner i'm rolling this window down and my son is sick one of my sons is sick something's going around and uh my other one had something last week so this one's got it now so he asked for some chicken noodle soup so i'm going in to get that and i asked also what else he would like for dinner um baby your sons it doesn't hurt to baby them when they're sick you know it really doesn't men tend to be they're very strong right and they take care of you all the time i'm talking about if you have a husband they take care of you all the time but when your husband is sick he wants to be babied that's how men are and somebody said to me once they said hey um make sure when you treat your husband you treat him in a way that you would treat your sons right and um they're like you know make sure you think about how you would treat your sons would you treat your son this way or would you treat your son that way so I have a son who likes to travel and he's going to be traveling again but he has stayed in my truck and he's been very thankful for the help just so that he's safe at night um, I don't baby him in the way that you know says oh I have to take care of you and you know no no you don't do that to a guy right you don't say I have to take care of you and I still have to mother you that your job's done when they're grown up your job is completely done you can offer them some guidance some advice but you don't want to have your kids living with you until they're 30 45 my my husband's sister stayed with her parents until she was like what 40 or something that's ridiculous right I was out of the home by like I don't know early 18 18 I mean as soon as I could and then when I came back once one time because my husband who was my boyfriend then and I lived together in let me think if I can remember the year 90 we had lived together a year before we got married he didn't want to be together anymore because he was ticked off because you know we couldn't afford the apartment um, so he broke up with me and I didn't care he anymore anyways and he lived with his parents and then I lived with mine and it was very difficult to live with them 